Hi and welcome to my channel and another video. This time I will try to change the SSD and in that process remove the old thermal paste and apply a new and better paste. If this is some video that you find useful, please subscribe and push the notification bell. Please note that this is not an easy task as the location of the SSD is under the heat pipes. Let's start by removing the 8 screws holding the bottom plate. The Huawei MateBook X Pro is an amazing laptop, except for the maintenance issues we are going to face when changing the SSD. So let's start by uh, removing the torque screws uh, on the bottom. There are eight of them and uh, fortunately none of them are hidden under the rubber feet. I'm going to use Arc to clean to remove the thermal paste from the heat shield and from the CPU and GPU. In this case we will need the um, torque 6 screw, the T6, and unscrew all the 8 screws. The screws holding the, the back plate are longer at the back of the laptop. So remember that when you put them to together, put the laptop together again. I use a plastic card to pry off the, the back plate. Start in the corner and uh, use the plastic card to, to wrinkle it up. You need to be careful so you won't uh, break anything. So take it slow and uh, careful. Almost done, and we can uh, test uh, stuck in the corner there. But uh, it's quite easy, uh, nothing hard. When I opened, uh, this is the second time I've op opened this device up, so uh, some of the plastic clips uh, were damaged because I wasn't really that careful. You can see there are a lot of screws. I think there are 20 screws and they are different size, different length and uh, so you really need to have a good system when you remove them so you can uh, set them back in the same, same order and in the correct places. Yeah. I changed my uh, SSD earlier and uh, then I um, then I lost one of the screws. So um, keep them safe and uh, in correct order and you will be fine. So this is just a uh, Philips uh, screw head. This time I will have a system where I place them in a pattern that looks like uh, the plate, the holes in the plate. Careful to remove all screws because, uh, uh, and if you are unsure that you have removed everyone, just lift the lift the plate a little so you can you see that it's uh, um, it's still stuck with one screw. Uh, 
be very careful so you don't bend the plate. And if you do, you can bend it back in the, uh, so that it's uh, completely flat if you are careful. So now I lost the order here and uh, trying to figure out where it should be, this uh, screw, and that's the place. So you can see it's uh, the thermal glue uh, is uh, on both the plate and uh, the CPU and GPU. Now you have to clean. I uh, often use a piece of paper to take uh, take the most of the grease away. And after that I'm going to use uh, Arctic Clean. And that is a two step uh, uh, two step uh, there are two components. Uh, so uh, and I read about this uh, Arctic Clean, it should be very, very good. This is the first one, number one. It don't need so much. Uh, Five ten drops, maybe. And start cleaning. So there are three surfaces that uh, we're going to need to repaste. You can see that uh, there are two rectangular surfaces and uh, one square surface. And um, I always put a string on the rectangular surfaces. And uh, on the, the square surface I uh, just put a P-size uh, dot on the chip, especially when they are so small as in this case. So that should be enough. Just try to uh, see so that it's um, it's not um, more on one place and less on other spaces of the surface. So you see, uh, this is yeah. Roughly enough. I think you can have a little bit more, but uh, I think it is enough for uh, this uh, configuration. So now changing the SSD, it's just one screw, and uh, on that screw there are a, a warranty sticker. So I don't know how Huawei is uh, handling this, but uh, uh, I think changing the SSD should be everyone's, uh, uh, you should be able to do it.
But uh, in this case it's of course a little harder than usual. So let's just... Uh, if you haven't, haven't done it before, you just uh, stick it in... Uh, uh, you can see it's uh, a pin there, you have to set it in the right, right, right direction. But it's not, not nothing hard. So if you avoid the warranty, you, you can't blame me because... Um, um, yeah, I'm just showing you how, how to do this. They are not so easy to handle these small uh, screws. They are, <laughs> they are so tiny. You have, you should have a uh, magnetic screwdriver because uh, otherwise it's uh, very very hard. Mine I lost uh, magnetism a long time ago. So now we have to clean the heat uh, pipe plate. And uh, put it together in the right direction, of course. Try to focus on the screw holes, uh, then it's easier to make it uh, aligned with the, the other screw holes. Put a little bit pressure on the on the. Uh, connectors. So now put all the screws back in uh, and hopefully I have them in more or less correct order. Finally the last one, and uh, we are done. I really hope you have better uh, order on on your screws when you are doing this, because uh, this was quite messy. So, no, just uh, putting back the bottom plate. After that we are done and we can try to start the uh, laptop. And remember that uh, the screws in the back are longer, so you don't uh, try to apply them on the front side. Just to put some pressure on uh, and uh, it will uh, snap into place. Check around the device and see that uh, it's uh, you know, completely aligned. You see here, I, this is one part that I haven't missed, so I put some pressure on it and it snapped into place. 
So, looks fine. So, open up the laptop and see if it uh, boots up boots up correctly. Nothing happens. Yeah, here you can see at least uh, the BIOS is uh, uh, activated. And you see the windows are loading. So it shouldn't be any problems. Yeah, so here you have it. So what do, you, what do you think? Is it really worth the effort changing the SSD or do we repaste of the CPU and GPU? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I say it depends on the SSD capacity and if you have issues with the CPU or GPU cooling giving you thermal throttling. Please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you find it useful. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.